Right, um, back to the situation where it's very uncommon, but um, you may see these errors come up on your stereo, Sony stereo. And um, I found out what the problem is, and I want to share it with you. And um, before you go into pulling your dash out and pulling your stereo out and going to buy a new one or doing drastic things like that or doing a factory reset it's better to do simple things first so um, what I decided to do was uh, have a look at components first so down here I've only got the ignition on I've turned the ignition off is the cable there's no phone connected I can disconnect that and still with two cables sitting there I've still got that so even if I turn that off turn that back on I've got the volume turned down at the moment so that um, there's no copyright from YouTube or any music that will come up on the radio So now I've got the phone connected. Phone is not uh, open. Ignition's on. And you'll get that. So <coughs> when you're driving along, after a while, this will go off and you'll get your radio <clears throat> you can Bluetooth your phone to get your music but none of your apps will work off your phone to this device so your GPS and so forth you can hit that it will disappear <clears throat> but it won't solve anything um, <clears throat> so I'll disconnect the phone now from that end and I'm going to turn the ignition off completely and I'm going to turn it back on again now and as you can see it's still there okay and that's how it is so now I'm going to disconnect it from down here I'm going to turn the ignition on again. It may come back, may not. Because sometimes it gets stored in the memory of the the actual um, device itself. What it actually is saying is that it, there's a problem with the cable. So cheap cables eventually will um, have a problem with them. They'll burn out or wear and tear. Um, so with my partner's factory one, it started to show signs of it wearing, so she bought a new data cable. Where this one didn't show any signs at all. It just had that overcurrent warning on the USB come up but there's nothing in the book to say what it means there's nothing on the website to say well there is something on the website that says what it means all it says was disconnect the device it doesn't say the cables ratchet or anything like that so <clears throat> I went and bought a new cable which is a heavy-duty one um, Put the ignition right on here. Turn it right off. Turn it right on. And um, and then I'll connect it to the phone, and um, you'll see that it will read straight off the phone straight away. 
Okay, it's not coming up in the memory of what it was. Let's see if I can just do it this way. Nothing happening there. <coughs> Nothing. Nothing connected there. Now I'm going to connect the new one. I'm trying to do two things at once here. You'll see it charge there. You'll see it there. all your Android Auto and all that come up so it'll tell you straight away um, that your device is working it's connected <coughs> um, and that takes away the problem just by changing the cable pretty much. so um, that's all you have to do you don't have to go changing the entire cables from out the back of the device and running new cables or anything like that it's nothing to do with the cables from the device it's to do with the cable from there here to your phone that's all just change the our cheapos to something real that's it thanks for watching